Hello and welcome. I am Monica Verma and our subject expert is Ms. Shikha Gandhi. We shall be discussing reporting on the education beat today. Education is a primary beat in every news outlet from a small town paper to the big news conglomerate. It is also one of the most satisfying beats for reporters as it lets them look at an issue that is crucial to the future of India. Since readers care deeply about things like schools and colleges their children study in and its academic quality they need to know as much as possible about anything related to education. After all, they pay taxes to support education. Today's program is designed to give you a brief introduction to the most pressing issues facing the educational system today as well as tips on how to cover this beat. This includes the various stages in covering education right from finding his story, building contacts and sources, researching the story and filling it. We shall also define areas of coverage, help you to understand how to focus your stories, explain how you can build and use background information and news sources with an emphasis on cultivating experts who will be regular sources of information and education. We shall be looking into how you can successfully cover news conferences related to the beat, how to build up skills in the art and ethics of interviewing children and subject experts as well as skills to build up a network with think tanks and experts in the field. We all know that education has a crucial role to play in civic life. The average man expects a lot from educational institutions. Not only are they expected to educate students, but to bridge social inequities and level the economic playing field for every child in the country. These are lofty goals indeed. And today, more than ever, our education system is under new pressures to educate all children for all purposes, as citizens, as workers, as leaders in their fields, and to do it in ways that are wholly different from past practices. So you have a tough challenge ahead. You will find yourself pitching headlong into this baffling world of rhetoric and reforms without a proper road map. But we are here to help you. If you want to be good at covering this challenging beat, you must have at least a working knowledge of the various educational arguments fueling public debate and the skills needed to cut through the polemics and write about them with clarity. Education Beat Basics In the beginning, a new reporter on the education beat has to establish contacts for stories, sources for research, learn how to conduct research on the chosen topic and then write a tight, informative story. The first thing that you must do as a rookie reporter covering education is to read education stories in a newspaper in your city every day. Then ask yourself some questions. What kind of education stories does it run? Who are the target readers? Do you find the stories interesting? If they are interesting, find out what are the elements that make it interesting. And if they are not, find out what is missing. Similarly, watch television programs that focus on your beat and make a similar analysis of the content. Now, think about what other kinds of stories you could do if you were the reporter. This habit of analysis and debate would stand you in good stead in your journalism career ahead.
what does an education journalist write on? Ultimately, all stories on education are stories about people. So, beat reporters on education keep the focus on how their story impacts people while selecting a topic to write on. They file the usual education stories often seen in the media, educational funding, examination system, new courses in colleges, admission norms for schools and colleges, career advice, interviews with faculty and teachers. But the successful beat journalists see the themes in education, leadership, resources, social trends, community needs. They provide context and show how issues fit within the overall picture of education and how each part is connected. A story on school transportation may have links to stories on alternative forms of energy, road safety, automotive technology or demographics and a story on child nutrition may link to stories on poverty, diet, obesity, health, government contracts and so on. An understanding of and about the Indian education scenario is central to the beat. You will be a better education journalist if you know what are the current issues that are creating a buzz. You can then go and find stories around these hot topics. Finding ideas for your story. Sources for education stories can be my ride. Often stories can originate from parents or teachers that you as a reporter may meet at school or college meetings. For this to happen, you must visit the schools, colleges and universities in your area. Reporters who do this might find stories on new educational courses, new policies and where the money comes from and goes. You can get ideas from talking to just everybody associated with the education system. Parents, students, teachers, administrators, school board members, bus drivers, interested citizens, politicians, lawyers, social justice activists, voters, economic development agencies and the educational leaders who are selling their budget issues and projects. Journalists generally also encourage the public to call and email them about any piece of educational news that they may have. A reader may send you an email about a teacher who is using storytelling to attract students into the classroom in a backward area. This could then be turned into an inspiring human interest story. Ideas come when you follow the basics listening to what is going on, what people are talking about, what gets them excited or angry. Read everything on education, including posters on bulletin boards and the web. Most importantly, watch everything in your everyday life. What to do after you have a story idea? Suppose you read somewhere about a trend of more and more private schools opening in remote villages and you find this piece of news very interesting. You dig a bit more and come up with few more details like villagers are preferring to send their kids to private schools and not government schools for education. You like the idea? and feel it will be great for doing a feature on. Here you have a seed of the story. Now you need to follow a series of steps to focus it. Discuss your idea with a cross section of people. 
you should discuss your story ideas with your friends, parents, teachers and the common man and get their feedback and inputs. This is called pre-testing and it works every time. Focus your idea. A topic is very general and broad category, but a story idea is something that is specific and narrowly focused. Let us try to focus your topic for a story. You may want to focus on how this trend of mushrooming of private schools in remote villages is affecting literacy levels. Instead of looking at broader topics and trends for defining an idea for a story, you must try to boil it down to one statement or one question. If you can do that, you probably have a clear sense of what your story will be. In order to crunch this topic into a single sentence, you may have to do some more research. When you do that, you might come to know that the girls were being sent to work to pay for their brother's education at costly private schools. Now, you may finally arrive fine-tune the topic for your story as is the mushrooming of private schools in villages improving literacy amongst girls? The topic is now clear, precise and focused. Decide on the form of your story. There are many ways to approach a story. Perhaps your goal is to share information or you want to offer an in-depth look at an issue or perhaps you want to express your opinion on a topic. Here are some of the forms your story can take. News story is immediate and often delivers time sensitive information that may change moments later. It must compete with many other stories for a reader's or listener's attention. News stories include facts, quotes and details about what is happening. If you often ask the questions how and why, then you would probably enjoy writing feature stories. A feature takes an in-depth look at what is going on behind the news. It gets into the lives of people. It tries to explain why and how a trend developed. Unlike news, a feature does not have to be tied to a current event or a breaking story, but it can grow out of something that is reported in the news. Then you have the opinion piece. This is more of a persuasive essay. The writer has an opinion or a point of view on an issue and he or she wants to convince the reader to agree. In order to do that well, you must research your topic and know the facts. A reporter should have a specific reader or target audience in mind as he writes. Some reporters write for parents, some for students. This means that the foreign language of education with all the acronyms that the educators and policy makers use has to be broken down for the average man. The goal is to make the story relevant to every reader out there. Where do you do your research? There are three basic sources for a reporter. People, records or databases and personal information. An educational journalist conducts research primarily by visiting libraries of educational organizations, talking to experts, reading books and researching on the net. Personal Sources To be able to conduct research, you must establish friendly relations with the PROs of the major universities 
and organizations that deal with education like NCERT and the departments of education in your area. You may also establish contacts with some prominent private sector organizations in the field of educational technology, implementation and software. Ministries of Education and Human Resource Development, the Planning Commission, University Grants Commission, etc. are other very important sources of both education news and research. And so are the government departments which deal with education at the central, state or district levels. They dole out hands out, press releases, newsletters, annual reports which can be used as sources of news and research. Educational NGOs, private companies in the education space can also provide you with a lot of information and data for any story you may be tracking. There are a large number of international organizations that deal with education and culture. Some of them are United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, United Nations International Children's Education Fund UNICEF, Association of Childhood Education International, International Education and Resource Network, the International Council for Open and Distance Education ICDE, etc. are some of the international organizations working on education which a reporter can follow for research and story ideas. Apart from this, we would suggest that you read widely, not just newspapers and magazines while researching, but also trade journals and internet interest groups. <music> Tools and skills for covering education networking. If you are new to the education beat, take extra pains to network with personal assistants, secretaries, PR persons in educational organizations, ministries and departments of education. Once you have made those connections and established yourself as someone who is curious and willing to engage in learning about education, it is likely they will be more than happy to help you gain access to their organizations. You can build up a network gradually by going to seminars, association meetings, educational functions and other gatherings. Introducing yourself, listening and following up, building relationships, collecting and storing contact details and other information about everyone in your educational world, building a database on paper or on your computer to keep in touch with your network. Gather information about the gatekeepers, find out who the decision makers are, show interest in them, talk about the things they do well, find out what is possible and do not ask for the impossible, but otherwise be determined. Interviewing children. Interviewing children is central to the education beat. Here are some tips to get this right. Children should be asked open ended questions. The more specific, the better. Avoid asking questions like, Do you like this class? Instead, ask, What are you doing in this class? What do you find? most interesting about what you are learning? What makes it interesting? Before interviewing the child, ask yourself, what is my journalistic purpose? What do I hope 
to learn from this interview. Children should also never be grilled. They should be assured of confidentiality and more protection from the press. Interviewing subject experts. When a skilled journalist does an interview, it sounds almost effortless. You would think he or she was just sitting down for a chat with an old friend. But there is a lot going on behind the casual conversation. The journalist has done research on the topic, decided what he or she needs to know and has come up with a list of questions to ask their source. Never make the mistake of going for an interview with an expert without doing some solid research on the subject. This will scuttle the whole exercise completely. Here are some basic guidelines that you can follow to conduct interviews successfully. Ask simple straightforward questions to begin with. Ask open-ended questions and avoid leading questions as much as possible. If you don't understand some idea or concept that is being talked about, ask for an explanation and keep the interview short. Covering news events. An average day in your life as a reporter on the education beat may start with a news meeting or a conversation with the assignment editor about the day's stories. You may be assigned to cover news conferences in your beat. Here are some suggestions on how to cover a news conference. You as a reporter get an invite giving full details about the program of the news conference. So, you are advised to make a list of questions that you need answered before the conference starts. Make sure to know beforehand what you need to know in order to write a story about the issue. You can add to that list as the speaker makes the announcement. Listen carefully and take notes as other reporters ask questions. That will save you from asking the same questions later and you may glean important information and get answers to questions that you had not even considered. Phrase questions clearly and briefly. You will not get much time to ask questions in a news conference, so keep it short and to the point. Always ask one question at a time. Resist the urge to ask several questions at once. The person giving the news conference is likely to answer just one and it may not be what you wanted answered. Confirm names and designations of the speaker after the news conference to confirm names, titles and other details of the speakers. Getting your story on paper. The two steps that any journalist follows are gathering information and then transforming this into the form of a written story or script. Once you have researched your story and decided on the form your story will take, you may get down to writing your story. Tips for writing you would have an understanding of how to write for the media. But here are some pointers. Look for color which means the catchy or unusual fact, observation or quote. Look for the angle and stick to the theme throughout the story. Be curious, 
ask the obvious as well as the unusual question. Then explore different ideas and different ways of writing them as you write. Do not just describe something, reveal a piece of the world to yourself and to your readers. Scope of Education Reporting In the early days, a lot of stuff was passed off as education reporting when it really was not. However, newspapers are re-examining a neglected corner of reporting. Inevitably, the hack writers have begun to disappear and today's education reporter bears little resemblance to his predecessor. He knows his subject and often brings to it academic degrees and sometimes actual experience in teaching. So, it would not be wrong to say that education reporting has a wide canvas and scope today. There is enough opportunity for good education reporters in both print and broadcast media. Before we wind up for the day, let us just recap what we learnt today. We saw what are the skills a student needs to become an education journalist like establishing contacts, finding an education story, researching and reporting on the story and writing it, interviewing children and subject experts, how to write an education story differently so that people will enjoy reading it. That is all for today. Thanks and take care.